Paul, thanks very much for joining us this afternoon before the game. 12 games were beaten in the league. What's been the foundations behind such a great run of form? I think, I think the, um, the goal against Colin is the, probably one of the most important things. Um, you know, because if you're, if you're keeping the back door closed, it always gives you a chance. And, um, and along the way, you know, we've, we've snatched the odd last minute draw or winner, uh, which has kept it going. And, um, and with the back of being unbeaten for 12 games last year, going into 12 games this year, we're up to 24 games, it's a great run. And it's something that we're, the club, the players, we all want to keep going. Um, I think this could be our sternest test today. But uh, no, no, it's a lot you say. I think the platform has to be that how hard we've worked to keep clean sheets and not concede so many goals. And you've always got a chance. Yeah. You know, like. And looking back at Kettering Town on Tuesday, a lot of people anticipated a goal rush possibly. Mm. You know, you mentioned the fact that the team does work hard. Is, is that best exemplified by the Kettering game? The fact that you did come back against a potentially banana skin opponent? Yeah, well, it was, it was a no-win game for us because of the situation. It was one of them guys that we expected to win and with the problems there. I thought they were very spirited and... I think it ended up being a good game actually. Um, we didn't take the early opportunities and scored from the set play. Uh, as you said, there's a bit of belief that we came. I thought we probably had a bit more control second half. But first half, there's too many players trying to sort it out themselves, thinking they're getting frustrated. I keep mentioning focus and concentration to them. And like, so we had three or four trying to do too much. I thought second half, when we simplified it a bit, we looked a bit better and deservedly won the game. But like you say, give them a bit of credit. But I think the missed chances made it a, a, tougher night, a tougher night for us. But like you said, there is that belief where even when we do go one down, we still think we can, we can turn it down. And you made reference to it earlier, St Neots Town today, third in the league, mm. two points behind us. Is this the toughest game of the season so far? I think possibly. I think as the season goes on, you know, they get more important. And in, you know, we're in November, but people will look at this one already. Obviously, uh, we both, both had good starts. Um, they've got a lot of quality. You know, when you look at the side, on paper this year, it's as, it's as strong as anything in the league, if not the strongest side. They've invested in the team. You know, they're one of the teams that can go out and pay a few quid for players. And you know, fair play, they look like they've spent it wisely. Um, and uh, they'll be there and thereabouts in uh, May. We'd love to be at full strength today. Sort of games, we're not. We've got two or three out, so it'll be a test to the squad's resilience. And um, very important that we keep it nice and tight and, and see where that takes us. Joe Magunda, one of those players out today. Yeah. How much of a loss will he be to the team? Well, well he is, yeah. I mean, he's, he's done well for us. Uh, but I keep emphasising that we haven't got a big squad, but it, the, the, there's good depth there and quality. The 16, 17 players we've got, we've had to mix it up a few times this year. We've come through, and today, with the two central lads missing, we've got to swap things around a little bit, move one or two things about, and, you know, and that's that's when you need. You need a strong bench, and we have got that, so hopefully... We're always going to miss Joe. Joe's been good for us this year, but uh, I'm hoping the one or two... Pockets that boys that fill, but hopefully the boys will do okay. And just looking at a couple of those St. Neots players, uh, Ben Mackey mm. making his return to the club today, Stefan Moore as well, another player with pedigree. Is it as much about keeping those two out of score of the scoring charts today, and then possibly that could prepare you to win the game? Well, that, that, that is important. I mean, when they go forward, they go forward with numbers. They've obviously got them too. And as a pair, look, Ben looks in good nick now, and he's got himself, yeah, he had a horrific injury. He was here for a bit, uh, but I think the back end of last season and the start of this year, he's He's looking like the player he was a couple of years ago, and, and which Steph, Stefan's a player that could play a lot higher, we all know that. Uh, so them two as a pair are good, but they, they, they do, they play with good width, they've got some good players, and like you say, it is important that, you know, in the final, in our final third of the pitch defensively, we, we've got to be good today, and we've got to be switched on, because there's good movement, and they've got, they've got a number of players that can hurt you, and uh, we need to be aware of that. And just finally, 418 fans got behind the team, right behind the team against Kettering on Tuesday night. Bigger than normal crowd expected today, and how important is their backing, do you think, in terms well, of getting the team to Well, it's easy, yeah. I mean, you know you know yourself sometimes. I mean, we played Arsley here, and we were 3-2 down at seven, eight minutes to go, and we were kicking towards the uh, the main stand at the back of the goal. And, you know, the, the foot, the, when we we got back to 3-3, and the, the, the winning goal was half sucked in by them, you know, you can, and it gives the players, a lift, especially when they're coming down here, uh, down towards this end of the pitch, and, the, you know, the, like say five, six, seven hundred behind the goal and singing away, and it, took, yeah, it, just, it, it just gets the momentum going. I think there, there is definitely a theory in the twelfth man, and you know when when we're on a decent run and the crowds are up here and, and they're vocal, it, it's a good place to play football. You know, so hopefully they'll play the part today. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Paul. Yeah, was. Okay. Yes, you got your oh, right. you got your room, I know. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
finish again. Liam, cheers for joining us. Um, no three 0 win against a team third in the league. Was it that blistering first twenty minutes that gave you the victory? Uh, yeah, we, we just said in there. I think both in both periods. I think the first twenty minutes of either half um, that really were crucial, especially for ourselves. I mean, we, we came out you know out the block so well today. Um, and again, you know, our finishing was you know really clinical. Um, we broke at pace. We defended well. And obviously, we knew the danger that they possessed with obviously their, you know, their two strikers of Ben, Mackey, and uh, and Maury. Um, you know, and I think we just had a game plan, we stuck to it, and, and it, it worked out very well. Um, and again, the second 20 minutes, the first uh, 20 minutes of the second period again, that was crucial. You know, even though you're three 0 up, you know, we've all been in situations in football where you can have such a blistering first first half. It's the old adage of a game of game of two halves. 
Um, and um, we, we, we sort of defended well and we did the right things at the right times. Our decision making was very good. Um, and yeah, I think obviously if you score, score three goals in such a quick space of time, it's hard for any team to come back from. Um, and, and yeah, really, really pleased with it. Yeah. And obviously looking at this quick start, Liam Daly with a great strike for the opening goal. Liam's, yeah, Liam, I mean, you know, he's been a revelation. He, he, he rejoined us um, just after Christmas last year. He had a spell away. Um, and he's since then he's been absolutely outstanding and uh, obviously you know, it coincided with a run we haven't been beaten since February since 25 and beaten in the league um, and again this season has been you know absolutely outstanding for us you know he's been absolutely brilliant he's waiting up seven or eight goals crucial goals as well you know um, you know goals in the last minutes of games that have kept the run going and you know he's been very very important to us Liam in both boxes yeah and Stefan Morley left back coming forward another important player very, and, and great finish very much too. so very much so I mean that's that's the danger with Steph Steph's got one of the best um, best left foots in non-league football as far as we're concerned um, and again his, his delivery his set pieces from Steph he always guaranteed quality um, I think we'll probably have a little word with him afterwards to see whether actually meant it. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I did remember him running back and saying, "Offered my uh, congratulations, what a great cross." Um, but yeah, went in. It was, it was. I think that goal. I think was really pleasing to build up play. I think it must have been about a dozen passes. He kept the ball, moved it really, really briskly, quickly, at good tempo, and uh, thoroughly deserved that goal. Yeah. yeah. Another fine goal from Lee Chilton recalls to the uh, yeah. his, his striker position today. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chile's obviously done a job for since he came to the club uh, 18 months ago um, on the left hand side generally. Um, um, but we saw a little little opening um, and we just threw him in at Hemel uh, when we won at Hemel the other week 3-1 uh, and he played that little withdrawn role off, off the striker off with Johnson um, and um, and it worked very well and we, and we just thought maybe today probably you know was the right game to you know we won't always do that will he? we won't always deploy him in that position but um, but yeah he, he worked well and I think that I think that had a you know because so it's had a spell of about 10 minutes was for our time where they started to get the ball down and they, they got it from back to front quite quickly and I think when, when Lee was on he, he stopped that, um, that ball going from back to front as quick as it did um, but yeah he, he was a good plus for us today apart from the injury that probably keeps him out you know, between two and three weeks which is a blow yeah, disappointing for him, but obviously, what does it say about your strength and depth that you can That's, bring Tom Berry? Th this, off the bench? this is the thing. I mean, I mean, I, I would say Tommy Berry has been outstanding. Um, he scored, I think, eight or nine goals this season in, in 14, 15 starts. Can't ask any more from a striker at this level or any level with that record. Um, Tommy had a good game Tuesday, very good game, in fact. But you know, with the squad that we've got, it's more of a <laughs> horses for courses type situation today. Tommy, um, you know, Tommy's got a great attitude. He's, he's a good player, he's a good finisher, and I'm sure he breaks any team in this league with his finishing prowess and his work rate. But it's just one of them things, you know. It's, it's a squad game, and that's the benefit of having such a, such a, you know, I wouldn't say a large squad, but such a, a um, you know, a, a great, you know, technical squad that we've got. Fantastic. Is it the type of uh, selection headache that yourself and Paul like oh, to yeah, have? Oh yeah, well that's the thing. You know, we'll, I'm sure. I mean, even even before the game today, there was a, you know, we're, we're in there discussing the side, and we spoke about it all day yesterday, and, and training as well. And you know, there's all that, uh, you know, there's all that sort of thing that goes on. You know, it's a very difficult decision. I mean, any any of the players, you know, there's. For example, you know, Jamie Hood, the skipper, came straight back. Well, he substituted Kettering, came straight back in today, was excellent. Um, but yeah, we, we just, um, I, think, I think Paul sort of, you know, we, we, the days are gone where you win a game, you keep the same side. Those days are gone. I think you have to look now, and a lot more teams look now at the opposition to see where you think you can, um, you can benefit from the side that you pick. And you mentioned that strong first 20 minutes of the second half too. I mean, obviously, I, th I thought you looked personally very competitive, very yeah, composed, yeah. very professional. I think, I think that's, I think that's it about us. I think we've got, um, we've got a good balance now between, you know, the ability side, the way we pass the ball, the way we move it, and I think we've also got this, you know, this bite, this determination with us, and I think that comes from the, the, the length of the, of the winter, uh, unbeaten run. Um, but yeah, with this season, there's something a little bit. You know, extra we've got a little bit more bite. Um, you know, we are physically strong. Yeah, we are physically strong. But you know, in this league, you have to have both. You have to be able to open teams up. You have to be able to pass it well, move it quickly, and you've got to be able to dig in more than you know, more than more than anything. Um, but yeah, we did both. We, we we showed both today, which is really pleasing. And just finally, the long unbeaten run continues. Is it a yeah. case of keeping the lads feet on the ground? Feet on the as ground. Well? And, and, you know, we'll we'll learn, you know we learnt from last season. We had a great start to last season, um, and I think we're probably top at Christmas or something, some, you know, something like that. Uh, and then obviously we didn't win for 10 games so we know our football is so fickle we know how the game can change coach so quickly um, and um, you know the lads have really 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 worked hard and we've put a lot of you know work into what we're trying to achieve here you know on the training pitch and you know and, and, and whatnot um, but yeah we need we need both sides you need both sides of your team to turn up you know one is that quick quick passing tempo making the right decisions on the ball and the other is determination grit and 
and it's like anything, confidence breeds confidence, you know, yeah. and, um, and we're certainly playing with a lot of confidence, it's simple really. Liam, cheers yeah. for joining us. You're Thank welcome, you. yeah, no problem. Cheers, Thank mate. you, cheers. Boys, yeah. cheers for joining us. Uh, Richard, let's start with you. Uh, what are the foundations of that of that win today against, you know, third place team in the league? Not a bad win at all. I think it's just the heart we've got in the team, like, um, a lot of the lads have maintained a good high level performance this season. Um, I've just come back from an injury, like, so I, I thought I was going to struggle to get in, but due to injuries, I've come back in and played 90 minutes today. I was struggling towards the end, but there's a lot of lads around you who help you through the game, and I just think it's a team ethic, like 100% help. You get with players like Daly chucking in the goals as well, he's got seven himself, and I, I think it's just a good all over performance. Liam, uh, you opened the scoring today, of yeah, course, yeah. that first 20 minutes, what a start it was. Well, that's it, to be fair. The gaffer said in the in the uh, team talk that like, we needed to be concentrated from the start, and I think we hit the ground running. To be fair, like, but I think that's what we've done this season really well. To be fair, we haven't let teams come. At, like, I, I think it goes back to uh, to February since we've lost the game now, and I think that's that's the key to us at the minute. We're getting out, and we're not letting teams play around us, and we're hitting them with a good tempo from the start. And I was chuffed to get the goal today, like so, especially to open the scoring up. I, I hit a bit of a form in the season. I scored. Six goals in like, I think it was six games or something like that. So I was glad to get back on the score sheet today to open the score room. Yeah. And Stefan Morley chipping in with a goal from left back. Did he mean it though? He, I think we've had this discussion to, already. To be fair to say, he's got great quality. As He's probably like, I'd say he's the best left back. He's got great quality in the league. So I can't really say he didn't mean to do it because I've seen him do it many times in training anyway. So I'd say he did mean it. Well, Richard, what does it say about the strength and depth? But obviously Lee Chilton scores a goal. Unfortunately, he has to go off injured, but he can bring Tommy Berwick off the bench. It should, just proves the gaffer brought in the right people at the right time. At the end of the day, if you haven't got good cover, you're not going to be pushing for the title, are you? So he's got good strength and depth. Yeah. And like, that just proves the players have been coming to do the slot. It's not like the gaffer ain't got to worry about somebody getting injured or blah, blah, blah. Well, the, the, the thing is, in the, in the team, sort of the gaffer said, we've got a great squad at the minute. And he said people are knocking on the door every week. Because there was, to, me, to, to me, Tom Berry, he's our top goal scorer. He's been outstanding this, this season. And what Ricky Johnson's also done just as well as he's come in. And the gaffer's got a hard choice to make. And... He's opted to go with Ricky today, who's done well, but Tom I thought was excellent when he came on as well. And it's just a bit unfortunate at the minute with the formation we're playing, it's not suiting both of them to start together. But you can tell when they play against teams, teams are scared against them. So they're, they're both big, strong presence, and, and Tom and they both know where the net is. So. You've got a strong presence up front, absolutely. But yeah. also, you know, you kept them out the back. I mean, Stefan Moore, Ben Mackey up front, always right. a handful, and you kept them out quite comfortably. That's, we, we all, me, me Hoodie, and Stefan, and um, Ben, we all go back. Back, like was at Howes Owen together, and obviously me, Ben, and Hoodie was at Leamington together. And they, they, we, we knew from the start it was going to be a tough game today. They've got great quality up front, but to be fair to the lads, they Hoodie coming in as same as Richard. Yeah. They haven't played a lot of games like with Hoodie's suspension, but they both just slotted in. Hoodie, Hoodie, Hoodie looked like he hadn't been away, and I thought he played very well so today. If, at the back. If, you, if you look at it though, these four have been together for the last couple of seasons, right? yeah. so they know each other really well. Yeah, yeah. So if you think about it, four people playing two, se two, three seasons together, they've got to know each other's ups and downs. We, that, that's that's we're just talking. Our um, defensive record, we conceded three in one game. So apart from that, we, we would have conceded six goals. So just yeah. to show, and obviously Noel's done superb since he's coming as well behind us.
and food available, a light bar with food available. Yes, yes. Thank <laughs> you. 